it going? In this video, we're going to take a look at Shake Your Money Maker, and this is the Fleetwood Mac version of the song. Now, this song's in open E tuning, so let's take a closer look at the tuning. Okay, so we're going to be using open E tuning for this song. So the low E string stays the same. The A string goes upper tone to B. The D string goes upper tone to E. The G string goes upper semitone to G sharp. The B string stays the same and the high E string stays the same. So I'll just play you the intro. <laughs> Let's look at the first part of the intro. What we've got is this little shuffle. So what it is is first finger, second fret, and what was the A string. That's how we normally play the shuffle. What we do on the intro is we just go and catch what was the D string at the end. And then slide up to the 12th fret. So after you've played that through twice, in the E position, we're going to slide up to the 5th fret for the A shuffle. What we're doing is we're just barring the lowest 3 strings with the 1st finger. And then we're bringing the 3rd finger in on the 7th fret on what was the A string. And you're just playing to start off with the lowest 2. And then we're going to slide up to the 5th fret. So after we play it through once here at the 5th fret, we then drop through again for once more in the E position, and then we're going to move the shuffle after that up here to the 7th fret. This would be our B shuffle. Just playing the lowest two strings, barring here on the 7th fret, and on the 9th fret using the 3rd finger to make the shuffle on what was the A string. Then dropping back down to the 5th, and then putting in some big slides from the 11th to the 12th. Okay, so here's the first lead line. it's on the B string on the 12th fret this is it without the slide then we go up to the 14th fret then the 15th fret back to the 14th back to the 12th and then land on what was the D string on the 12th fret so now you've got to play that with the slide so after you've played that lead line twice then take the exact same lick but start it down here on the B string on the 5th fret so it would be uh, B string 5th fret and the 7th fret and the 8th back to the 7th back to the 5th and then land on what was the D string on the 5th fret put a bit of vibrato on the end. So if we put those two lead lines together and then I'll show you the next part. And back up to the 12. So that last bit starts here on the 7th fret. And you pick in what was the G string, then the B string, then what was the G string again, and then the high E string. So, and then we drop that down to the fifth fret, and do the same picking pattern, and then we slide up to the twelfth fret from the eleventh. So we go. So the rhythm guitar part follows the standard twelve-bar blues and it's got this chromatic sort of turnaround at the end. Uh, it uses the shuffle in all the places that I showed you on the intro. So I'll just play through it, and what I'll do is I'll draw the bars map up below the video on my YouTube channel. <laughs> So that 
chromatic bit at the end is on the low E string, starts at the 12th fret and just goes down to the 8th and then back up to the 11th. So here's a Jeremy Spencer style lick. So look at that again. So what we're doing here is if I play it without the slide, we're sliding down from the 15th fret on the highest three strings. Then we're playing on the high E string on the 12th fret and dropping down to the 10th. And then we're going to be on the B string on the 12th fret and dropping down to the 10th. Then we're going to slide up on what was the G string to the 12th fret and then land on what was the D string on the 12th fret. So here it is with the slide again. Remember to put your vibrato on those end notes. So here's lick number two. So what you've got here is if I play without the slide. sliding up from the 11th fret on what was the G string up to the 12th fret and then catching the B string as well so you'd have and then catching the G string on the 11th fret and then ending on what was the D string on the 12th So because this song's a 12 bar blues in E, you could use the E blues scale to solo. So I'll show you some areas around the 10th, 11th and 12th where you'll find the notes from the E blues scale. So you can start improvising with your slide and uh, making up your own licks. So on the low E string, it'd be 10th, 12th. On what was the A string, you'd be uh, 10th, 11th, 12th. And then on what was the D string, you'd be playing the notes that are on the 10th fret and the 12th. And on what was the G string, you'd be playing on the notes that are on the 11th and the 12th. And then on the B string here, you'd be playing 10th, 11th, 12th. And on the high E string, you'd be playing the 10th and the 12th. So now you've got some notes that you can experiment with making your own licks up for when you're improvising. Don't forget on my YouTube channel up there somewhere there's a subscribe button and uh, if you push it it will keep you up to date with all my latest videos.